Welcome to Washu Nevada for episode one with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, I have left behind the slightly rainy conditions on Oakfield Farm and we are here. Our new destination, our new let's play. We're on Washu Nevada by Alien Jim. I said I was waiting for something. <laughs> And this is what I was waiting for. I think a lot of people thought I was waiting for Welker. But actually, I was waiting for this. Um, now, I did say the Oakfield Farm was going to be a very, very short mini-series Let's Play, if that. It was basically a couple of bridging episodes between finishing Marwell Manor Farm and waiting for the new Let's Play to start. Uh, so I just did a couple on there because I'd already kind of included it in Marwell already. I'd done a road trip there. I thought, well, it kind of made sense. Um, now... I have for the time being left Jeremy the sheep there at Oakfield and when we get our sheep up and running here we'll get Jeremy shipped so that's not a problem at all um, I have changed a few things from the kind of the start what you get um, standard from Jim so we'll have a quick look at what we've got what we're going to be starting with and I think we've already got a job to do which isn't actually farming related well it kind of is loosely linked to farming now we have got we do have the case but i think we've upgraded it i'm pretty sure we have 7250 that's the larger horsepower we've still got the agramash cedar but instead of um the new holland tx32 we've got a case international 1660 with one of the modded headers this is the 1030 but it's the 18 foot i think not the 14 foot uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, that was it. Um, instead of the Steyr CVT, we have got the modded John Deere 8R. This has got a nice engine sound, and this also has massive flotation tyres, should we choose to use them. We've also got the new um, Julie pickup from Black Sheep Modding. We have got a truck... I'm trying to remember where I put it. I set this up and then um, I can't remember. It's behind one of these. There we go. It's only the smaller of the, the American trucks. But that will get us started off. Now as far as the natural trailer goes, we have got a trailer but we don't technically own it. It's over at the transport company. Um, we've got a, our pickup I'm going to go and grab now. Uh, we do have corn that needs harvesting that hasn't had anything done to it. So I think what we'll do... Actually, where is the corn header? We own a corn header, but I don't know... Oh, there it is. Cool. It's only a small corn header, but not a problem. So we'll get the corn harvest going first of all. Then we'll go and get on with the job that we've got to do first. So, let's start this up. was watching um, Welker Farms their 80, 82, 60, 83, their case harvest. Anyway, they have been given, sponsored by, was it Titan Tyres? Um, the largest tyres you can get for their one of their new case harvesters. Um, absolutely huge. If you don't watch Welker Farms, go and have a look. Um, I've never seen anything like it but yeah, so they've kitted out one of their harvesters with new tyres and then the other one they're leaving standard but I've never seen anything like it, absolutely massive I suppose the only thing bigger that I might have seen is um, on like quarries and places like that they have the huge dump trucks but that's all really, uh, let's open this up I think we'll go lengthways that header looks dirty but I don't I think it's warm. Should be right. Star up. Might as well get our first field done anyway. Let's get a worker going on that. Thank you to everyone who commented about, uh, like I so said, when I did the uh, 
Farm Visits episode with Celia G yesterday and I talked about trying to set this map up so she could join me. Uh, lots of comments of people suggesting ways of which we could get the multiplayer to work. To be fair, the last time this happened when it was on FS17, um, I, a lot of the things people are suggesting we have tried before. We've tried um, changing various different protocols. We've tried... Um, Oh, different um, IP addresses, proxy servers, we've done oh, a whole host of stuff <laughs> and we just can't seem to get it to work, it's just one of those things unfortunately. But weirdly I can join her, I still don't understand how that works, but anyway. Anyway, get this going. We need to go to the store with our pickup because we have been asked if we can do a job at the quarry. They've had a bit of a quarry disaster um, and they need our assistance. There is some equipment down in the quarry that we may have use for because I was going to go and click lime. And start filling up um, our lime storage so that we can do liming on our fields and that kind of thing. Which is fantastic, exactly what we need to be doing. The problem is, they've had, uh, well we'll see, well, I'll show you in a minute when we get down there. I'm not sure whether to do this whole field or get on with that job first, because the harvest will fill up. Actually, I don't think it will fill up that quickly, because this hasn't been um, fertilised or, I don't think anything's been done to it, has it? Let's zoom in. Growth. Soil composition, let's have a look. It needs ploughing. Turn that off. It needs liming. And it has no fertilising states at all. Okay, so we're going to need to culture plough and we are going to need to lime it, so we do need to do the next job. Um, as far as finances, we've got 153,000 in the bank, which is kind of left over from setup. I was going to set it to, back down to 100,000. I thought, well, it's 53,000, it's not the end of the world. We haven't gone mad. Um, I did think about when and if, not if, but when the Welker Farmers map comes out. Doing possibly a couple of episodes on that, but going full bore, you know, two, three um, big buds and, you know, setting it up like they have their farm. But, yeah, this is a little bit more sedate. We're not going mad. I so I made a few changes, but nothing major. The sun is shining in my window. Literally, that bottom corner, there's a bright patch and I can't quite see it. One six, yeah, it's actually going alright. I think what we'll do, we'll leave that, get let that go, keep going with the worker. I'm gonna go and grab the pickup. We need to, yeah, so we need to go to the store. There is a gooseneck trailer with a uh, I think it was a JCB. Did I go with a JCB skid steer? But we need to take over to the quarry to help them out with something. So gone for yellow on this don't know why i looked at a few different colors we left the chrome wheels i do quite like this i know not everyone's raving about it but it is a jewelry and it is the fifth wheel i know a few people also commented to say that's not how a fifth wheel works i know a fifth wheel attacher is normally for lorries i get that the gooseneck attachers aren't normally a fifth wheel are they it's more of a kind of post arrangement but this is how it works in game it's just it is what it is now, which way do I go to the store? Having done the first look map tour, I'm still trying to get my bearings. I think it's this way. Oh, I put a toolbox in. I'm not sure. I didn't come across a workshop. I might have missed that on my first look. I, I don't remember finding one, but I know the main store there is. Uh, right, this way, I think. This thing is fast. Rather rapid. Right, where are we going? This way. Should be getting to.
Where is it? Oh, <laughs> I just nearly drove past it. Yeah, it was a JCB. I couldn't remember what I went for, whether it was a New Holland or a JCB. I didn't even think about the Massey Ferguson, but I think I'm, I'm using that already on the Pinky, so I want to do something a little bit different. It's nice to use a few of the new mods out as well. Try to where I can. That really doesn't want to... Right, let's back up a little bit. The acceleration doesn't seem as progressive as I would have liked on this, but... Okay, let's get our beacons on. Let's go. Right, so we're taking this to the quarry for the guys at the quarry. The quarry men. And women. The quarry folk. No, that sounds weird, quarry folk. Sounds like strange beings that live in the quarry. Mind you, judging by this map, there are strange happenings around the map already. I did, before I did my first look, go through the night because someone had mentioned UFOs and I didn't see any but somebody did message me and say that there are strange lights in the night and they disappear off to Area 51 so I have to keep an eye out for that how far am I going? it's going here have I missed the turning already? that would be just oh no it's much further down I think between those two peaks to the left I think yeah so we're looking for a turning on our left and that should take us over towards the quarry I think where are we there we go fantastic now, if you don't follow Alien Jim's um, Facebook page, channel, go over and have a look. Um, he posted a picture yesterday. I think he's starting on the conversion of Sussex Farm. And I did have a message back with some, we had a bit of a message back with some forwards last night actually talking about a couple of things for Sussex because I was very fortunate with Sussex Farm um, and with Spectacle Island to have my name on various bits and on Sussex Farm Sealy G also did Sealy G Bakery so uh, yeah all very cool we should be seeing that might take a while to convert but Jim started. I did ask if he ever sleeps or stops, or because he's really knocking these out. And we're lucky that he is, was what I meant to say. It's not too much further, I don't think. So we are going to need, if we are going to start filling up stuff at the, at the main farm. Which again is another one of those great features of the map that we can do that. We are going to need a tanker, so we might have to buy one of those. Then we can start collecting water and we can start filling up various different bits of the farm. Which I think is what we're going to aim for. At least to start off with. Lime's free, which is a nice feature, but I don't know... I've got the small trailer. I think the larger one that the transport company was a Wilson, I think I went for. But I'm not sure whether or not that takes lime. I don't think it does, does it? Right, so, we have a look around here because there's some nice equipment here. Uh, where should we unload this? Beacons off. Engine off. Oh, hang on. Ramps down. Cool. That's actually quite steep, isn't it? Should be right. Okay, now, what they have got over here at the quarry. Now, this is the problem. They've had a bit of a landslide, rock fall type situation. The lime point is right here. However, can't really get to it. They've had all this collapse down here. Also, up the top here, they've had a bit of a landslide collapse, which is hampering quarry operations down off the side here. 
as well. So they've asked, can we help clear some of this out of the way so they can continue with their work? Now, obviously, there are quarry workers here, but they've got their own jobs to do. So I said, yes, we'll come down and we'll help. Of course we will. Gives me something to do, doesn't it? So they have also got now... We've got an old, it looks like a lead pair, I think it is. But we have got a New Holland, um, the W190D, with a bio belts, um, lightweight bucket uh, on the front, 7,900. Uh, they've got a dump truck here, but we've also got this one. Now, this was the, is it SX? The big modded job, anyway. Uh, with the hook lift back so we've got a dump trailer on the back of that as well so I thought you know the quarry equipment should be here anyway and seeing as we've got some already in place I kind of added to it I thought it might be quite a nice thing so what we're going to do is I don't we're going to put into the dump truck yeah probably let's get this off the back first because I wanted this delivered this was just a kind of can you deliver it help out type situation I hope I don't get stuck off the back here no, it's all right but we can actually use this the bucket on the front is from CSZ pack it's the mono is it mono block front? I can't remember what it is now almost I suppose like a little rock picker type situation I think it's a 2000 litre bucket I think I hope it's going to work <laughs> I was intending was intending for a complete kind of cave in situation it suddenly dawned on me that clearing this out if I covered up the lime point I might have then mixed up this stuff on the floor with the lime and that wouldn't have been so good so I decided to leave it now There's quite a lot of it, so it's going to take me a while, I think, to clear this out. Actually, I might use the... Uh, let's go and grab the wheel loader. That might be a little bit better, because we've got quite a bit to clear here. Let's do that. Yep. And we'll grab the dump truck as well, I think. We'll load it all into the dump truck, and then we can move it wherever we want to move it. Let's get the dump truck first. To be fair though, I'm pretty sure the rear dump section on this is only about 18,000 litres. It's not actually as big as I thought. Doesn't matter though. Right, where is... There we go, let's go and grab this. Quarry operations should have the hazards on really. Beacon, sorry. Cheers, but the hazards on as well. Yeah. I do have my Satex side panel plugged into my PlayStation 4. It's a PC side panel, but it works on PlayStation. It doesn't work on Xbox, I'm afraid. Oh, okay, it's going from the tracks. So that's good. I wasn't sure if it would. Oh, that might prove a little bit trickier. Oh, I need to turn this truck at more of an angle, I think. It's better. Under the boom shot, never mind. Oh, 
That's weird. Is there a... Must be a hidden lip to that. Because that's hitting something. Be a problem. Let me see. Hello. Says. Hitting those sleepers just ever so slightly, but it is clearing. Cool. Nice. So hopefully once this is all cleared we'll be able to get some um, lime. Actually I might be able to use the dumper, will that? That'll take lime, won't it? I can check that in the store actually. There. I've been so engrossed in doing this, I haven't noticed if I've had a thing come up saying that the workers, whether well, there's a full load back at this farm, that's possible, isn't it? Right, we're full. Let's move that. Just about a second. dump this just nicely out the way somewhere start a new pile over here be fine I think new that's weird there we go that's better Right, so I'm going to continue just clearing this area before we get up onto the hillside and try and clear that. I will check on the farm as well. We can get some lime. Okay, I've just got back from the farm. The uh, harvest is on its second load, which is fine. This is all clear now. I'm not going to be clearing all of that all the way back just need to clear the entrance here for the lime but what I do need to do up on the hill is just clear enough room for them to be able to carry on operations it's not a case of shifting it all down the hill or anything like that so I'm going to make a bit of a hole a kind of bit they can drive through I think realistically then we'll put the JCB uh, that we bought over the skid steer over by the uh, the little building there so yeah, just enough of a... I suppose I can just dump it by the side, can't I, really? I haven't got a... This hasn't got to be put into a dump truck or anything like that. God, it fills up quick, doesn't it?
cool. Now, because I've helped them out, it does mean that at least for the first load, they're going to let me use the dump truck to take the first load of lime. I can come and get lime whenever I want, which is fantastic, and I can use the wheel loader to do that. But, realistically, the dump trailer back is only 18,000 litres. My trailer up at the farm, the aggro liner, is 21,000. So I might be better off coming down and using the trailer rather than uh, using the dump truck, but that's not a problem either. Nearly there. And then one of the workers can come and uh, sort this out at some point. Think just over one more scoop. We should have that cleared, really. Shouldn't we? <laughs> I think I'm taking it from the sides as well, aren't I? Yep. think yep we're there right fantastic job yeah they'll have to sort that out won't they? not a problem right let's try this line then now this should be done with a bucket loader and I'm pretty sure that you can use I don't think it's going to fit also. I think you can use the fill trigger conveyors might work as well somebody did mention that uh, oh now is that bucket too big? So as it turned out, the bucket was too wide. The universal lightweight one wouldn't fit in the gap here. So I went back to the store, we've got the Magsy one, the standard one, it's only 3,000 litres, it's a little bit smaller. But it should mean now, if we go right in, and then press L3, there we go. We are lining. Good thing with the magazine bucket as well, it's a high tip, so when we get right up there. And tip like that. Perfect. So it's like a flu a flu loads, a few loads of the bucket to get this filled and then we'll take it over to the farm and put it into storage I've suddenly realised as well that I don't actually have um, anything to spread it with that's a good point hmm
tend to go for the Braydell K105, I think, when I do that, but... Yeah, the K105. I haven't done the 165, but there is always... Oh, no, that doesn't do lime as well, does it? Ah. That only does fertiliser. Might have to have a check through the mods again, then, to find one that does... Lime. I mean, I'm, I might just fall back on using the K105. It's a new, really good bit of kit. Works really well, but I wanted to try and use something different, so I'll have a look. See if we can't find something a little bit different. We'll have a look in the mod tub. I've got a coal to plough the field anyway, or subsoil it, because it does need ploughing. Nearly there. Have it. That should be a full load. Pop that down. I think we might have to try the fill trigger tool, you know. Because that might work quite well. Backed into there. Then you'll be able to just fill up straight into a trailer. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. So, let's borrow this. And then what we'll do is we'll dump this load off, we'll come back with the truck, drop the truck off, and then pick up our pickup. Let's get back to the farm now. Is there a different route I can take? Let's check the old sat nav. Uh, yeah, there is. So there, we take the fork to the right, follow it round, pass the bike. Yeah, okay, cool, right. This fork here, up past the sawmill. Oh, that's slowed down a bit. The one's over there. I think it's on his line, isn't it? Just assume it will let me just tip it. I guess so. There we go. Nice, and that should be showing. If we scroll across, does it show lime on here? It does. Zoom in. There we go. We've now got 18,051 litres. That one takes... Oh, OK. I thought they were all 30, uh, 300,000 litres, but they're not all 300,000 litres. That one's 80,000. Uh, the digestate and slurry is... What? 1,100,000. Wow, OK. Some of the others... Oh, the digestate is... Herbicides, 80,000. Liquid fertilizers, 80,000. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, that was my misunderstanding. But what we will do, before we take this back then, let's get the bits finished here at the farm. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab 
the John Deere. One is a four meter, I think, isn't it? Oh, that sounds nice. So we do. Let's open those out. We've got corn, I think just over 10,000 litres. We have, let's put that into storage. We'll have to work out what we're going to do crop wise back into this field. We are going to need, if we are going to do sheep, we're going to need grass or hay. So we are going to need a grass field. I think field 10 is, isn't it? Yeah, field 10's the... Oh, it's not showing anything, is it? Fruit types. Let's go down and click grass on. Yeah. How much is field 10? Oh, only 65 grand. That's not so bad. So we could maybe do that then. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. What we might do is a couple of water runs. We'll do the whole water run test then. We'll get a tanker in the next episode. Do a couple of water runs, get a bit of money, buy that field, maybe start on sheep because we can do grass or hay from there. Hmm, that'll work. For a minute. Let's stick this next to it. I do like this. I used this on um, Ravenport, I think, didn't I? It goes up to 261 horsepower or something. Sure, it does. Let's have a look in the garage. Uh, what are we on? Yeah, 261 horsepower. Um, so it's no slouch. And what are we on with that one? 394. So yeah, the A the A345, we haven't gone right the way up to the biggest horsepower because that goes up to 450, I think it does. So yeah, we haven't done that yet. A few things to do. Cultivating is continuing then. That's good. We will need to do some liming. Now we've bought some lime. I'll let that carry on. Part the harvester up, and then we'll um, we are going to need a jet wash at some point in this dusty environment. Things are going to get quite mucky. It's on this side. I was thinking about trying a no no tillage system, uh, but it would require turning ploughing off for a start, um, and then getting a cedar which is a direct drill which we could do we could do kind of light cultivating so rather than subsoiling we could cultivate um, just kind of over the top but we could try some no-till I've never really done that before the agro mash is um, I don't think that's a direct drill is it I could be wrong oh yeah this machine offers the possibility to see directly no previous cultivating or ploughing necessary so we could 
try no till i think because i've already started subsoiling that one that's mucked up but that was only because it said it needed plowing but if i turn plowing off we could potentially try a no till map i don't know right let's take this back grab our pickup we may be close to done for this episode i'm thinking we've got field harvested we've got our first load of lime maybe we'll sort out our fill trigger tool give that a go water tanker yeah we've got loads to do fantastic right then so we're heading back to the farm with our pickup and the gooseneck uh, trailer low loader that one's the 450 isn't it sure it is yep yeah. Go cattle ranch, can't we? Rather than sheep. Hmm. Maybe. Let's have got this. We do have plenty of sheds, so we haven't got a problem with that. Time is it? I'll pass one. Got a fair bit done actually. How's this looking? Right, so that's what I need to do. I need to scour the internet and try and find ourselves something that can spread lime that isn't something we've used already. If I can't, then we might have to go back to uh, what we're doing. What we're about halfway. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. So, with that, we have come to the end of the first episode here on Washu, Nevada. Thanks, Jim. I'm enjoying it. I always enjoy starting a new map. It's always fun and your mind starts wandering, thinking which direction you're going to go with the map, where you're going to... what you're going to do, and... Yeah. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Brilliant. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.